First up, my flavour packed lamb with fried bread. Whether I'm cooking high-end dishes or rustic dishes, trust me, it all has to be impressive. So this lamb dish proves that you don't have to spend a fortune to create delicious food. First off, put the pan on. This is a lamb steak, and it's cut just above the leg, just here, because you can see that delicious bone running through the center. And that's full of marrow, so that just gives the lamb a nice added sweet flavor. Just take your knife, cut through each end. This stops the lamb steak from buckling, so therefore it cooks evenly and colors beautifully. Salt and pepper. Lamb needs quite a lot of help with the pepper, so be quite generous with the pepper. And just pat that down. The pan's just starting to smoke on the outside. Now put the oil in, get that pan really nice and hot, because this is a cheap cut, so I'm depending on the color of the lamb steak to really sort of impart a lot of flavor. That's the noise you want to hear. You can't hear that noise, don't drop the steak in. Put a little bit of garlic in there. Not chopped garlic, just whole cloves of garlic, and lightly crushed. Don't even waste time peeling them in. Tongs, lift up. That bit of fat around the back, that's at the top of the leg. Tilt the pan and let all that fat render. Rendering is a chef's term. That means melting the fat. It works brilliantly when you're cooking a ribeye as well. Turn it over. Look at that colour there. Beautiful. Now it looks like an expensive cut, and we've got that nice, even sear all over. As it's cooking, just tilt the pan and bake. And basting the lamb steak just means you're sort of adding all that nice scented garlic olive oil back into the lamb. Beautiful. Now I take the lamb out and let the lamb rest. Beautiful. Now for the perfect rustic crouton. So this bread's quite firm. A couple of days old. Just slice it straight down the center. Dice it up. Put it into a bowl. Season it beautifully. From there, I'm gonna add some milk. Sounds strange adding milk to a crouton, but it just gives it that nice, rich, creamy texture. And just let that milk sort of absorb into the bread. While that's soaking, I'm gonna make the dressing. Go back to that initial garlic that was in the pan. Look at that, beautiful into the pest and mortar. Anchovies. Anchovies go brilliantly well with lamb. I want that nice, salty, vinegary flavor and a bit of kick. Some capers, the little baby cats, very sweet. Now, just pound that to a nice paste. That smells incredible. Next, some Dijon mustard. A nice teaspoon and a half in. A little bit of red wine vinegar, two tablespoons, and then our extra virgin olive oil. Now, it's got that heat in there. It's got that nice roasted garlic, a real hearty, chunky vinaigrette that sort of seeps into that lamb. Some fresh parsley. Crunch up the parsley. Delicious flavor. Parsley in. Nice. Now, get your pan hot for the croutons. Olive oil in the pan. Grab the croutons and squeeze all that excess milk out. Not too hard. I don't want them dry, and in. And then just fry them. And the milk inside these croutons give it a nice, spongy, creamy, delicious flavor. That's the color I want. Nice. Now, take them out and lightly drain them. A little bit of kitchen roll onto the board, out. And plate them. Just take this amazing vinaigrette and spread it. Get those croutons. Listen to them, like little boulders hitting the plate. The lamb, sit that on. Next one, on. The rest of the croutons, on. Now use all those little bits. And my chef in Paris would kill me right now if you saw me using those, because they're the ugly scraps that customers should never see, but, but they're the best bits. Croutons on and then just drop that sauce on all those little bits of the lamb. And there, that is a perfect way 
of taking a cheap cut into the Premier League of dishes. Literally, as the stock comes up to the boil, the clams open automatically. It cuts through the richness of the coconut. Gives it that nice little bit of acidity. Goes fantastically well with the cinnamon.